Which real-life talents did the NCIS actors showcase on the show? How on-set drama led to some characters' deaths? And is Mark Harmon really planning to leave the show after the current season? Hi, I'm Joe. Let's reveal all the behind-the-scenes details of the hit show. Harmon wasn't the first choice to lead NCIS. NCIS is one of the longest-running shows on television nowadays, and Mark Harmon has been its lead during all of its 18 seasons. But can you imagine someone else playing Gibbs? Well, that actually might have happened. Initially, the show's creator Don Belisario had on his shortlist the actors like Don Johnson, Scott Bakula, and even Harrison Ford at the time. Surprisingly, Belisario thought that Harmon was too good-looking to play a tough ex-Marine. Fortunately, he changed his mind after he saw the actor on the show The West Wing, where Mark portrayed a Secret Service agent. By the way, Don Belisario didn't entirely quit on the idea of having Scott Bakula on his show, and 11 years later, Bakula was cast as Gibbs' former partner, Special Agent Dwayne Pride, and the lead of NCIS New Orleans. Family Ties Play a Big Role in the Show the true fans of NCIS already know that actor Sean Murray is actually Don Belisario's stepson, and he's not the only member of their family who has appeared on the show. Murray's mother, Vivienne Belisario, played Gibbs' love interest in the first two seasons, his stepbrother Michael played the lab assistant Chip Sterling, and Sean's stepsister Troyan played McGee's sister. Moreover, even Gibbs' name is connected to Don Belisario's family. His brother's name is Leroy, and his father's middle name was Jethro. But there are other surprising connections among the cast of NCIS and their characters. Mark Harmon's elder son, Sean, plays a younger version of Gibbs in flashbacks. And Harmon's father was a fighter pilot during World War II, just like Gibbs' father on the show. Polly Perrette's real-life mother also appeared on the show next to her. Well, sort of. In an episode called Enemy on the Hill, there's a photo of her inside Abby's locket. NCIS cast are more than just actors. Amazingly, Polly didn't just play the role of a forensic specialist, she was one. She wanted to become a police officer or a federal agent, so she earned a master's degree in criminology. But then, fortunately for NCIS fans, she discovered music and acting. Perrette wrote and performed two songs for the show's official soundtrack, Somebody Saved You and Fear. Michael Weatherly has also contributed to original songs, Bitter and Blue and Under the Sun. And their co-star Coda De Pablo performed a cover of Tom Waits' song Temptation for the NCIS premiere episode of Season 6. On the other hand, Mark Harmon has a very down-to-earth hobby. The actor loves carpentry. So now you know why Gibbs builds boats in his basement. By the way, all the tools he uses actually belong to Harmon. A character was written off as per the actor's request. When the beloved character Kate Todd was assassinated after only two seasons on NCIS, fans were shocked. Surprisingly, the actress Sasha Alexander herself asked for the character to be killed off. The official reason for leaving was that she asked to be let out of her contract so she could pursue other opportunities. But the actress later explained that working on NCIS was completely exhausting because of the long working hours. Kate's death was pretty definitive, providing no way back for her. However, Alexander did go on to make a handful of cameo appearances after that, proving that there was no bad blood between her and the showrunners. Sasha's co-star and TV veteran David McCallum also found the intense pace of the show challenging. Fortunately, the showrunners found a way to leave him on the show. Ducky moved on from a full-time medical examiner position to that of NCIS historian. There was a lot of drama behind the scenes. Eight years after Sasha Alexander's exit, fans were saddened again when Coda de Pablo abruptly quit the series. The rest of the cast were equally shocked as she left only days before filming for season 11 began. Reportedly, Coda's exit wasn't exactly amicable, although she refused to explain it and stated that her reasons were personal. However, she revealed that she chose not to continue with the show because the scripts were not good enough. Yet another blow came with the even more dramatic exit of Polly Perrette. Just days after her departure, the actress fired off a series of vague tweets, sharing that multiple physical assaults led to her decision to leave. And that in turn reminded fans that several years before, things had turned icy between Polly and Mark Harmon when his dog bit a crew member. Fans also suspected another behind-the-scenes drama, but the reality proved them wrong. You've probably also noticed how much weight Sean Murray lost throughout the eighth season of the show. 
fans suggested that the actor was suffering from some serious illness. Fortunately, that wasn't the case. Sean took to Twitter to reassure everyone that his slimming down was the result of a new diet. Some actors are very much like their characters. Coda de Pablo always said that she loved Ziva's combat-ready character. She even often did her own stunts. However, the actress is definitely not a fan of guns and was actually terrified of them. And as she had never handled or fired a gun before becoming an NCIS cast member, she was literally trembling on her first day at the firing range. Another thing that separates Coda from her character is that in real life, she is not Israeli. De Pablo was born in Chile and moved to the US with her family when she was 10. But her castmate Sean Murray revealed that McGee's life mirrors his own. The actor was single with no children when he started playing on NCIS. Now, like McGee, he is married and has a son and a daughter. Surprisingly, Michael Weatherly also has several things in common with Tony Dinozo. As you probably remember, Dinozo's wealthy father cut him off from his inheritance. In real life, Weatherly's father cut him off from the family fortune when Michael decided to become an actor. Dozens of aspiring stars have appeared on NCIS. If you rewatch the series now from the very beginning, you'd probably be surprised by the number of celebrities who played one-off roles on NCIS. For example, Stranger Things stars Millie Bobby Brown and Sean Astin both had small roles on NCIS. Astin portrayed an investigator in Season 9, and Brown played a girl who killed her own mother in Season 12. Ricky Whittle, best known for his roles on The 100 and American Gods, played a villain who kidnapped Ducky in the 10th season of the show. Darby Stanchfield, best known for her roles in the series Scandal and Lock and Key, played Gibbs' deceased wife Shannon. Outlander star Graham McTavish played a Russian Special Forces agent in the Milestone 100th episode. And Misha Collins' role on NCIS was far from angelic. His character unwittingly kidnapped a Navy officer. The lead of The Vampire Diaries and the originals Daniel Gillies played the role of a member of the Royal Navy who was framed for murder. The amazing actress Jamie Lee Curtis appeared in many episodes as Dr. Samantha Ryan, Gibbs' girlfriend. And the most surprising celebrity cameo was made by none other than former First Lady Michelle Obama. She appeared on the show in order to promote her charity program Joining Forces, which aims to help veterans and their families to adjust from military to civilian life. That chemistry was real. Ziva and Tony had undeniable chemistry. Fans loved watching the blossoming romance between these NCIS agents and hoped that off-screen the actors were equally close. But Michael Weatherly shared the truth about the relationship. As it turns out, the two actually got off on the wrong foot during a screen test, but ended up becoming close friends. And the actors apparently remained friends even after they both left the show. In 2018, De Pablo and Weatherly reunited to co-produce the drama series M.I.A. Other NCIS castmates who seemed to get along pretty well on screen were Ducky and his younger colleague Jimmy Palmer. David McCollum revealed that in order to get into the mindset of his character, he trained with the Los Angeles chief pathologist. He was so fascinated by the autopsies that he even invited Brian Dietzen to attend them too. It was like a test to see if the cast members would click, and Brian agreed right away. However, he wasn't exactly thrilled by the experience, although it helped him realize how difficult and important a medical examiner's job is. There might be one more NCIS spin-off. Did you know that originally NCIS was a spin-off of another long-running legal drama, JAG? But while the original show ended after 10 seasons, NCIS is still going. It has spawned two spin-offs of its own, NCIS Los Angeles and NCIS New Orleans. And now it's reported that the network is developing a fourth season in the franchise, set in Hawaii this time. There aren't a lot of details so far, except that there aren't plans to introduce NCIS Hawaii as a planted spin-off from one of the other NCIS series. Also, the network will most probably use the set that is already used for the series Hawaii 5 and Magnum P.I. So there's even a possibility of a crossover. Fans are totally excited and have high hopes. However, there was another potential spin-off, NCIS Red, which was set to star John Corbett. Unfortunately, its pilot didn't work and the show never happened. But that's not the only reason for anxiety. We don't know if Mark Harmon will stay with NCIS after its 18th season. Is Mark Harmon leaving NCIS? Over the past few years, there have been a number of rumors about Harmon leaving NCIS. There have even been discussions of Gibbs' retirement on the show, including when his therapist broached the idea back in season 16. However, Gibbs has always seemed dead against it, much to the relief of the fans. 
Back in 2019, Mark Harmon mentioned in an interview with People that, although nothing goes on forever, he has no reason to leave. However, it's not off the table yet, as the actor has a year-to-year -year contract. So far, he has renewed it after each season, but he is not obligated to return after the current season 18. Moreover, according to Hollywood Reporter, Harmon is ready to leave. And that means that, without him, NCIS may be heading toward a conclusion. Fortunately, the actor is reportedly in talks with the network to come back for a handful of episodes rather than let the show be cancelled due to his departure. However, it is unclear how NCIS will handle the absence of its lead and whether Gibbs will retire or move to Hawaii. We can only wait and see. And if you want to learn more about the cast of NCIS, watch our video about their real-life partners. And thanks for staying super awesome!